now in the increasing incidence of disease and degenerative disease and cancer, it's all, most of it linked. Well, it's all linked to chemical toxicity, but the majority of it is linked to the fact that the operation of population control factors are put in place and that people don't, you know, you might hear something on the news about how fluoride is better. You might hear something about BPA, but you're not digging deeper and deeper and deeper and saying, wow, is it every single thing I touch? All these cleaning products I have in my, in my house that are, you know, uh, you know, estrogen men that are going to increase my estrogen levels. It's, and everything. it's really about jacking the estrogen levels up and pushing the testosterone levels almost non-existent. And that's what's causing all these hormone disruptions. That's what's causing them in the womb. That's, it's all getting into the water supplies all over the world. That's what's, that, you know, you have the gender bending chemicals that are affecting everybody. I mean, think of how many people drink tap water. And not only that, bottled water and well water where you think you're drinking clean water, they don't filter out the hormones and the, some of these other chemicals. And even if I mean, they're BPA-free, they now have BPS, which is arguably twice as bad, and there's nothing that I've seen that's BPS-free. So really, you can't avoid it. It's on the currency, and when you print something out from a printer, it's on the ink from that. It's in plastic water bottles. It's, it's pretty much in everything. And then also the wrappings of the food, it'll, it'll leach into the food supply. So when you're eating something, you're eating BPA inside of it. So the it's impossible to and escape the plastic, it. There's over a hundred different forms of like, that are just endocrine disruptors, just like BPA. That was a whole scam when they, when they outlawed uh, baby bottles with BPA because they knew that if they got baby bottles outlawed as BPA, they could still use it in everything else. And it's still used as a liner inside of all the cans and even organic juices and everything like and that. And let's not forget the FDA had the opportunity to ban BPA and they chose not to do so. No, because it looked good because the American Chemical Society came in and said we want BPA banned in baby bottles. But if you do the research back, there was very little, if any, BPA ever in baby bottles anyway. So it didn't even really matter. They just used that as a scapegoat to say, look over here and forget about BPA. And everybody just automatically assumes that BPA has been banned, but it's still in any flexible plastic. You can still, you know, any microwave that you cook your food in is going to heat the BPA and like put it directly into the food. And there's other ones too that are out there. So, you know. Meanwhile, they're also loaded with GMOs, which the FDA says is perfectly safe. And it just goes in, it is an operation. It is a eugenics operation, because otherwise they would take it out. The overwhelming majority, 96%, wants to label GMO foods, take it out of the food supply, get rid of BPA, but they're not doing it. It is an operation, an attack on us. Especially since pesticides are high in uh, endocrine disrupting and lower the, the estrogen levels and, in, and lower the, I mean, increase the estrogen levels and lower testosterone. I mean, when you look at Roundup, which is the number one pesticide, glyphosate, you look at, um, which is now in the groundwater. Which is now in the ground, groundwater, atrazine. And we, we, you know, we haven't even gone into the, the, the factors and the chemicals that they're spraying in the air through chemtrails. Um, you know, we know high levels of aluminum also are uh, depressing testosterone levels. Actually, gluten and grain and wheats and foods suppress testosterone levels and increase estrogen. So, I mean, you, when you see, you can look at everybody these days, I mean, Look at girls uh, having their menstrual cycle at nine years old. Look at you, you could look at girls' hands and feet. I mean, if you look at a girl's hands and feet like 20 years ago, now if you look, if you compare a guy's uh, hands to a girl's hands and feet, they almost look exactly the same. I mean, so we are becoming a nation which is uh, hormone disrupted and. You know, the relation, how that affects the other part of it is the relationships, because women are on uh, uh, birth control pills, you know, the plastics that are in, you know, sexual toys, stuff like that, condoms re release chemicals into the vaginal canal, the douches that they spray in the vaginal canal. I mean, if you look at the big picture, every pretty much thing you touch and everything that's being introduced to your It'll body by is... Design sucks your testosterone levels down and increases your estrogen levels. And it's just a disastrous soup that's happening 
So your body doesn't know what to do with it and your body starts freaking out and you have depression. And, you know, you can have depression, you can have weight gain, you can have so many different things. Well, you were telling me all those sexual items have super high levels of dioxin, which is arguably one of the most toxic uh, compounds in the world. And they also have BPA and everything else. It's totally by design, just sticking in all the places that will affect you most. Even stuff, your, you know, your toothbrush now has BPA on it. That's right. Everything. That's right. Yeah. Everything, pretty much everything in your bathroom, all your cleaning supplies, all your, you know, pesticides if you use any, they all have estrogen increasing and soy in the foods, genetically modified organisms. There, that's the genetic manipulation part of it because you know that uh, with the studies on rats that, you know, feeding them genetically modified foods created infertility for, you know, four generations later. Yeah, exactly. You know, they couldn't even have it's, kids. It's so that's what we're running overall into. overall attack, yeah. You know? So you've been looking at this. You actually, you started because of plastics. You started because of BPA and plastics, right? I did because we were seeing all kinds of cancer patients, and my dad was vol involved in the production of plastics. I mean, he was, you know, his thesis was done on the creation of PVC. I mean, he actually was one of the creators of PVC plastics. And whenever he came out, and he di mysteriously died within two weeks. He was doing some work with Exxon, then he was doing some work for the government during the Reagan administration. And I didn't find out later that how heavily involved he was. Just recently, within the last six months, I actually found a document in a paper that he was about to release because I thought this whole time that he didn't know what was going on. You know, I thought that he, he thought he was doing good for humanity and he was putting all these plastics out there. What I found out was he was actually about to come public with a paper saying how dangerous plastics were and that they actually caused cancer. Wow. And so, you know. And that was your father and then you decided you were inspired by all of that and you came out and started fighting against all the garbage and the plastic and helping people naturally. Yeah, my whole thing was I knew we all had a self-healing mechanism and it, you know, my whole life has been dedicated to finding out the root cause of what causes all these diseases, what causes all these deficiencies and then looking at them and saying, because if you know this stuff and you have a list of everything, then you can avoid it. And it's about avoiding them and then strengthening your body. Well, that's what I wanted to ask. And, if know. there's anyone who would answer this, it's definitely you. Um, so I know there's certain ways to avoid BPA, you know, with the water bottles and everything like that, and I try to do the best I can. I get a glass water bottle and everything like that, but it's almost impossible to avoid it. What would you say are the ways to avoid it? And then since we really can't avoid all of it, what's the best way to fight back against it and reclaim your health in that aspect? Well, you know, educating yourself. I mean, you know, educating yourself and reading more about it and learning what, what type of things are going to increase your estrogen and then lower your testosterone. And that's what led me to develop because I started looking, what's out there? You know, what can I do? What can I take? Because, I mean, even though I'm healthy and I avoid these things, you're still going to be exposed to it. I mean, you know, you can even, even the radiation from Fukushima, you know, that messes with your hormones. Electromagnetic radiation from cell phones. I mean, we all live in a slew with the cell phone towers and everything. Those are also disruptors. So what can you do about it? Well, I don't want to go, you know, the, the medical community and the pharmaceutical companies are going to say, ha ha, you know, we've made all kinds of money on selling you all these plastics and you're just buying your own death from us. And now when you come to, the, to come to us for help, whether you have impotence and you need Viagra, which is spiked with testosterone-lowering uh, phthalates in there. And worse, you actually have it on your, in your documents there. It yeah, contains I do. some of the most dangerous chemicals that we even know for the supplement industry. Right, and, and it's being put in, you know, these things are actually being put in supplements too. I mean, so I wanted to figure out how, you know, how can we reduce the estrogen this is the solution. It reduce the estrogen and increase the testosterone levels. I mean, there's got to, you know, even though the evil, you know, population control eugenics plan is there and it's and, and a lot of people don't know about it, at least there is a solution if you just figured out how to do it. So I went around the world and looked at different types of plants, you know, that would naturally help you balance out or repair your hormones inside your system and slowly start bringing up those hormones and bringing that estrogen level down, but letting your body do it instead of going to a hormone replacement no, that's therapy. The key, you don't want the synthetic testosterone that the doctor may prescribe you. 
you want your body to naturally produce the testosterone on its own, and that's what makes your research way different than the others. Yeah, there's there. a difference when you say, well, first of all, the pharmaceutical companies, they did it, they create disease, they created andropause, Andropause has only been around probably for 10 years or so. Which is when you get older and your testosterone exactly. levels go down and your hormones get out of whack. Yeah, when your hormones get out of whack. And so andropause, they, they create the disease and then they create the solution, which is come to the doctor for hormone replacement therapy, get your testosterone patch, get your testosterone injections, which who knows where it comes from, it's synthetic. But it's not the natural way the body heals itself. And when you put hormones into the body, it's just like steroids when they use them in bodybuilding. If you don't take some time off or if you do it continually, then your body senses those hormones in the blood and decides not, and just shuts down the glands. It's like when you start taking insulin when you're a diabetic and then your pancreas says, well, I don't even need to produce insulin anymore because it's already in the blood. So everything shuts down. So that's not, the right, that's not the right method, it's not the right approach. The right approach is give your body, you know, everything, there's always an answer and a solution in nature, you just need to find it. And that's what we did is put everything together into one formula, which is super male vitality, that people can take safely, and it's not, it doesn't contain testosterone. What it does is it just works on your endocrine organs and it works on your glands to be able to naturally produce higher levels of hormones that you need so you can get your body back in shape and body back in balance. Now I've been taking Super Male Vitality, the InfoWars Life exclusive Super Male Vitality, and I was with you when you were developing it. It took you five years, by the way. <laughs> A very long time, and you were looking at actually, you went up into the Himalayans and we harvested this uh, Shilajit. And it's this, the, t tell people what Shilajit is exactly. Shilajit is a mineral that actually comes out of the mountain at a certain time of the year, and it's high in fulvic and humic acid, and it's got a lot of minerals, and it's got a lot of vitamins, and it's got really more of a balancing effect. I mean, it was used, it's been used, traced back to, I think, 2,000 years in Ayurvedic medicine, and they use it for, to provide the support to the glandular system. It really contains a lot of the minerals and everything the glandular system needs to produce the testosterone because a lot of those chemicals actually shut down your cells that produce testosterone or you know regulate your hormones. So what we wanna do is focus on getting those cells healthy again so your cells can produce that. You know, people are malnourished, they're dehydrated, they don't have enough water, so the shilajit is one component of many in yeah. that formula that actually helps balance your body and bring your hormones back to normal And state. the key thing is, and we just talked to Alex's friend, uh, Shane Steiner on this, wanting to actually go work out is the key thing. When I take super male vitality, it actually makes me want to go and work out, as opposed to sitting around saying, yeah, I'll work out sometime. You know, When I take it, I feel like going to the gym, and I've actually been going to the gym now, and I'm doing a challenge to see what I can do in the next uh, 60 days. And it actually does promote natural testosterone production in your body as opposed to taking some overpriced supplement that's giving you synthetic garbage hormones that are actually doing more bad than good for you in the first place. So in closing, um, tell us a little bit about how it works specifically with your body, super male vitality. Well, the good thing is everybody's body is different. I mean, so it doesn't matter if you're, you know, 20 years old, 30, 40, 50, or 60, you know, and there's a, you could take 100 males and test their testosterone levels and you'll get different, you know, amounts. So it's not like you have to regulate it for this person or regulate it for this person because in the natural state of things, it will feel what your body has and how you need it. And you brought up a good point because most anybody that's, um, 20 years right now, 20 years old, I mean, for the last 20 years, they don't really know what it feels like to have testosterone in their body. Because I can remember when I was a kid, having that desire, that hunt, you know, you have that, you, you, your muscles feel strong, you have low body fat around your, your waistline, but all the kids born in the last 20 years, it's very sad because they don't know what being a man feels like. They don't know what that masculinity feels like because they've been bombarded with all these chemicals and it started in the womb. And unfortunately, if it starts in the womb, it's really hard to correct. So what this does is help you bring, help you feel like a man again, you know what I mean? And, and it will actually help you with your fertility as well because 
the goal is to get your the cells, the testicular cells, to start producing more testosterone again naturally, and that's that is really the key. I mean, if I can say, you know, if there's one major conspiracy out there, it would be this eugenics program with manipulating genes, you know, manipulating the hormones and suppressing the ability for people to conceive and bring healthy children into this world. And we need to fight back. And we need to fight back. I'll tell you, there's no question that this product works. There's absolutely no question. Alex can't even take it anymore because he gets so pushed into